Good morning. We're here today at Space Launch Complex 37, and what you see behind us is actually a Delta IV rocket. It's going to be launching the GPS 2F2 satellite in July. What's going on behind us is we are moving the mobile service tower, and that is the giant building that you see moving away from the rocket right now. That building that we're moving right now weighs just over 9 million pounds. It's about the height of a football field, and we're actually going to move it an entire football field back so that we can conduct this wet dress rehearsal today, which is in preparation for our launch. So what you're looking at is the GPS 2F2 wet dress rehearsal. What it is is a ULA operation, and what they're doing is they're going to be rolling the mobile service tower back and then fueling the Delta IV booster. Basically what they're trying to do is uh, verify that the booster is fully functional and that basically they're trying to iron out any of the kinks uh, in the fueling system before the spacecraft arrives and uh, is, is made it to the booster. Basically the GPS satellites are manufactured out in California and uh, they're, fully, they're fully tested out in California and once the satellite is ready to go they'll ship it here to the Cape. Uh, the GPS 2F2 satellite was shipped to the Cape on April 20th. Um, very early in the morning and basically what we did was we received the spacecraft transported it into an area called Area 59 at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station where we unpackaged it from the shipping container and then uh, performed a few weeks of compatibility testing and post-factory functional testing on the spacecraft. Hi, welcome to the LCC. Well, today we're performing a wet dress rehearsal, or what we call a WDR. And uh, in that test, uh, we are loading cryogenic fuels, liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen, onto the Delta rocket to validate the vehicle's readiness pr prior to uh, erecting the spacecraft. So basically the whole intent is to make sure that you don't have the spacecraft all the way up there and then you find a problem that you have to fix with the rocket and then take it all back off again. Exactly. Now, the wet dress rehearsal, how long does that basically encompass? Your, does it take the whole day, a couple hours? How long does it take? Uh, it's pretty much a whole day. The countdown from the start of it till T0 is about 12 hours. And then after that, we have uh, detanking to you know, take the right. propellants back off the rocket. And uh, securing uh, usually takes overnight. So overall, it's almost a 24-hour operation. Really, almost an entire day. When I went off the launch pad, saw the rocket, it was amazing. It was a different scene in that configuration. And uh, the good folks at ULA have taken us around. They showed us all this really cool stuff. And then we get, we're about ready to head out, and I see this replica. I'm, I'm a big replica model fan. And then I look up. And as you can see, uh, when they got the replica here, they didn't quite understand that the replica was taller than the ceiling. So they had to modify the ceiling and put this concave... Uh, sections of the rocket would fit.